There's a gasometer on the horizon. Could there be a football ground nearby? Red Earth Park remained the home of Gateshead FC for over 30 years. By 1951 the team was still entrenched in the 3rd Division North, but prominent in their lineup at this time were the two Calendar brothers at each end of the standing group, who together eventually amassed over 950 league appearances for the club. In 1952 Gates had reached the fourth round of the FA Cup and 40,000 fans were attracted to their temporary home at St James's Park. One year later, extra training was necessary. Gateshead in striped shirts come onto their home ground to try and make soccer history. The giants they're out to kill today are Bolton Wanderers. That's a tough proposition for any team, particularly for one from the third division. But the Gateshead lads are great fighters. Two Gateshead players challenge Bell, Bolton's left half, but he evades them both and passes. Cairns blocks it and clears upfield. Neither side has got one in the net by half-time. After resumption, Bolton pull up their socks and give a display we expect from a team of their class. Centre-half Barris clears and starts a move. At the gate's head goal, Moyer's shot is stopped, but a moment later, Lofthouse heads, and it's in the goal. Bolton are one up. Gate's head have yet to score. The near 18,000 crowd were unable to urge their team through to the semi-finals. During the next seven years, the club's fortunes slumped. An eventual rejection, unfairly in many people's eyes, from the league came in 1960. Gateshead continued in non-league football for a few more years, but the stadium by now was better known for its greyhound racing rather than for football. But even the canine sport floundered and the virtually derelict arena was demolished in the early 1970s. By 1990 all vestiges of Red Earth Park disappeared and the optimism that had been voiced by Gateshead in 1964 was not fulfilled. I think if they got back in the football league, and they've got a decent team that will get the gates. 